I was doing well, and yes, another property video, but yeah, there'll be some other stuff afterwards. Um, basically, something came up. Uh, I don't often do two on the, on the bounce, but uh, this is a renovation about four or five kilometers outside of Dag Town. 10 minute drive to the supermarkets, and the kitchen looks fantastic. You don't often see good kitchens on our travels and our house tours. So, I want to see what they've done because by Google Maps, what was there before, the image is taken 2022, looks like just an old shack. And what they've done to it looks amazing. So it's intrigued me, we're gonna take a look. Don't know the price, it wasn't on the actual advert. So we'll be learning that together. Anyway, let's see what it's like. Here we are. All right. It's a pretty big property. It goes all the way down there. And uh, liking what I see at the front. Nice bit of tiling. Great big Saudi cap. Saudi cap. We've met this uh, this chap before, and we've got a, a good front area. Look at that. Get two, three cars in here. Wow. It's a winer. It's a beautiful house, actually. Looks very well finished. Right, so we come in, we got this, this little front terrace area, which is, yeah, it's a good size. Sit out here. We got a nice bit of, uh, any my jing, no? We got a nice bit of wood to sit on. There you go. The old angle grinder, can't escape that. So yeah, this is a nice little, this little area you can sit out in the evening. And, uh, Oh, I like this. And it, and it my jing doyla. My jing. I, I mustn't forget to ask them the price, but this is all. It's all right, huh? Make your hand. I've never seen this type of flooring, so I will be interested to know how much this costs. But this is your your view as you come in. It's a big open living area. You've got your your net curtains up. Nice ceiling and shape so they've got the sofa any furniture on me oh okay all right so you've got your tv area there any hong nong song 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 no song 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 no song oh any hong nong no this is huge look at this this must be any man jet med no Jet bed mat says about seven or eight meters by about four and a half. That's huge. Wow. Oh, look at that. Probably the biggest, one of the biggest masters we've seen. Uh, so we must have an ensuite over here. Let's have a look. All right. Yeah, we saw this finish in the last house. I like it. Very clean. And uh, yeah, it's a, a big shower area actually. And very nice shower heads. All beautifully finished with level step to keep the water in. I can't get over the floors. I'm thinking maybe three and a half, four, I don't know. This wood is expensive. They're big planks, big long planks all the way. So, what have we got here? Just take a little view from the other side of the room. Hong Yaina. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got the down lights on there, so it'd be lovely in the evening. All right, what's this one? Hong Nong. Hong Nong Song. All right. This is the second bedroom. It's got a normal tile, but more than adequate. Looks like it's three by four. Any air luang, mate? Air, air luang. Yeah. Okay, so. They give the air con as well. I'm not sure where you put it, probably. Okay, any any air like this, any air? Ah, okay, so that's the wiring for doing TV. Hong Kong, unit, unit. Right, this is what I want to see because on the pictures, oh my, oh my life. Look at this. We've got the, uh, the lights, 
We got this. Any hint? Hint. Granite top. Got your chairs. To have your beer. And it's a good, it's a good width. That's about 60 centimeters, maybe more. And uh, work top. Sink by the window. We don't often get that. Loads of storage. And uh, yeah, there's gonna be a cooker in here and a proper place for the fridge. And yeah, this has to be the best kitchen we've seen for a while. Look at that. And you've got an area there, here. You can put a little table. And what have we got here? I think this, I need plow. Oh, battle, clang All right, so this is the... Okay. So we've got the outside area here. I think he's saying, yeah, you can run down here. I don't know. I'm not sure what he was saying. I think you could, he was saying you could get the motorbike down here. Oh no, you're not saying. He's saying you can, you can park. I don't know. It's, it's a bit early. So you've got another access to the back. You can put another car vehicle to the back. Look at this. I'm, I'm getting intrigued how much this costs. Uh, so this hasn't finished yet. This will probably be tiled so you can have a, or grassed, I don't know, tiled I presume if you're gonna put a car there. So good space at the back. So it's a two bedroom property, but actually it makes more room in the living area having the two bedrooms. Sometimes they try and squeeze three bedrooms in. But that's, that's great, the living area with the kitchen. All right. What do we got here? Hong Nam. Uh, bathroom. Uh, bathroom. Another good finish. Yeah. Very, very, very acceptable. And this is probably a side door. Yeah. Oh, it's got a little terrace. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. So you've got a little terrace so you can hear the angle grinders. And uh, looks like there's another plot here. I'm not sure if they're planning to build on here too. You have got neighbors around, as you can see. The ping is literally on the other side of those houses, but it doesn't flood down this way. Uh, we do have the dam, luckily. And uh, what a good space this is. Wow. Okay, Tao Lai. Song Lan Ha. Song Lan Ha. Oh man, no? Kit Wa Sam Sam Si Lan. Really, it's a two and a half million. But I need my thing, do I need paying? No, this is very, this very expensive. Oh, shop man. It's a two and a half million for a, a wonderful kitchen and uh, a huge living area with. Proper real, real wood floors. I think it's teak. And uh, huge master. Great ensuite. You will have your cockerels. Does come with the territory. And you've got these slides, really cool slide doors. All right, okay. So it's been, you know, no expense spared really. And uh, a little sitting area. A little bit of wood there. I'm kind of knocked out. So, yeah, the kitchen. It looked nice in the pictures, but it looks even better. And yeah, a couple of years ago on Google Maps, that's the view. So when you turn around on Google Maps 20, in 2022, it looked like that. And now it looks like this. Very impressed. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you could put a little pool here if you want. I mean, for two and a half million, for a couple of hundred thousand, get yourself a plunge pool. And uh, you got this area here. And here, like, what's this little cubby hole? And you've got a bit of crawl space there. Look at that. Bit of storage. 
I'm gobsmacked. I thought it was going to be like three, three and a half at least. So, there we go. Okay, come, come, come. Right, I'm super impressed with this. It actually exceeded my expectations from the pictures, which I thought were very good. It was the kitchen in the pictures that kind of, yeah, sparked my interest. And also the fact that two years ago, that place, this place here was just a, an old, old house. And they've done a great job, local builder. So you can whack your, your cars, your Harleys, your Mercs, you've got your back entrance here. You've got a neighbor at the back here. It's all very quiet, you've got rice fields here. There's a the farmer just checking his, uh, his fields. So you got, it's lovely, yeah. Over the cup. And, uh, so it's about five kilometers from town, the big sea. Apparently that's why it's cheaper. The land is a lot cheaper. Uh, it's a proper land paper. And, uh, I don't know what to say. Fantastic. Right, so 500 meters down from that property, we've got a bridge that goes over the ping. So you can get into town um, a lot quicker. This road is, is quicker. You've also got a temple here, but it is far enough away. And this looks like it's new, actually. So this is about how far the ping is from the house. It's about two or 300 meters. And I've never been over this bridge, so let's have a, let's have a quick look. When well, a bridge is a bridge, isn't it? But I don't think we'll be able to see much. There we are, there's the ping. And as I said, you do get flooding in town sometimes because they don't clear the drains. But because of the dam upriver, you don't get a lot of flooding issues like you do in the Nakon Sawan or uh, down in uh, further south. And uh, you've got another temple on the other side of the bridge. Right, we're going to have some lunch. The last video, which did very well, did over 50,000 views. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. I always put effort into my videos, but I, 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 wasn't, I just rushed that one a bit, and it always does that. But the ones I, I didn't, I should have put remote in the title because everyone's going, you're in the middle of nowhere, blah, blah. It's lovely there, I love it. I'm just getting a load of stick. And uh, of course the foreigners can't own land. So YouTube targeted my audience into, uh, I think, Soy 6 in Patia. So I've got a lot of stick <laughs> showing that property, but. I love that area and I'm going to have a little discussion about why I do love living in the rural areas of this wonderful country. And uh, so, uh, also, yeah, also the yearly chat about foreigners can't own land, that old chestnut. Wang Bon Lua, Dai Mai. Okay, okay, Cap. Okay, Cap, Bon Cap. All right. Yes. <laughs> Shouting at the delivery guy. We've got a delivery. The mat for the tea room, none of us drink tea, but we've got, we've got a tea room, it's turned up. So forget all this malarkey, we've got a delivery. Oh, I forgot. You haven't seen me up the ladder with the boxes for a while, but, oh, they're still wet. Anyway, there you go, look. James have brought boxes. YouTube gold. Right, let's put that down. It's all very exciting. <sighs> Some of you wonder what I do all day. Here we go. And boom, there we go. Works out all right. I don't know. Just need to get some tea, and I'm not gonna sit on that, because I won't be able to get up again, be like a turtle. Uh, Annie likes these things. They're like Japanese things. They're, I don't know, they're like solid. And, uh, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna test drive that. And uh, anyway, back to the main point of the video. The house, yes, I did get a bit excited at the price. Songlan Ha! But, yeah, I, I mean, I see condos like 22 square meters for three and a half million, four million. I know location and everything, but if, I liked it. I really did. And those floors, I think it's probably uh, from the old house. A lot of these older Thai houses had teak floors uh, when it was cheap um, or cheaper. Uh, a lot of these older houses were built with teak. So I didn't ask, but I, I kind of think that that's what happened there. And they're beautifully done. I mean, they're, they're, they've obviously redone it, sanded it all down. And it looks great. I actually forgot I was looking at a second-hand house or a renovated house. It felt like a new house. And, yeah, I got a bit excited. Anyway, uh, second-hand houses in Thailand, I don't know, it's not the same as in the West. Uh, in the West, when, uh, I mean, my parents had a beautiful Victorian house in London, and they're sought after even now, hundreds of years after they've been built. In, in Thailand... There is a kind of spirit thing that goes along with, with houses. Uh, probably more so in the old generation, but when you sell a house, like my builder did, he lived just not far away and moved near to me. He had a big ceremony, he wanted the good spirits to move to the new house. Uh, so there is a bit of like stigma in buying secondhand houses here. Not all the time, but uh, it, it's, it's certainly different uh, to the West. Hence, maybe why the price is at 2.5 million. So there you go, I thought it was fantastic. I'll leave the details, the, uh, the Facebook link. Regards the last video, this does happen sometimes that I could tell when YouTube put me in the Pattier crowd because they're, they're, they're quite hostile, uh, sitting on the bar stools going, ah, oh, yeah, but you're, you're in the middle of nowhere. And you can't, well, there's no totty there. And you know, when well, you're kind of right and you're kind of wrong. Uh, if you speak Thai, there's, there's fantastic totty everywhere and uh, they don't all have tattoos and look like they've been sucking on the exhaust pipe of a car for an hour. I, I just, I just, I don't find that very attractive. Uh, I'm not having to go anyone who does. And also, Patty, I, I like, I like it. I went there for the first time, even though some of you don't believe that. I think it's got something for everybody, you know. It's not just, uh, it's, got, it's got a stigma attached to it and I, I don't think it's, deserved but i love living in rural this rural setting and i have the best of both worlds i go to bangkok a lot maybe three sometimes four times a month to see annie and also another reason that i might go into which will keep you uh keep i'll keep you in suspense i don't know we'll, we'll see i haven't married a lady boy but anyway you never know um so but when i come back i see the sign that 55 kilometers i'm like oh yeah pop in get a couple of beers in the mini-mart and just chill out. I find Bangkok very oppressive after a couple of days. The driving is just aggressive. It's constant noise. It's just, it's not me. Uh, but I have the best of both worlds. You know, I can nip up to Chiang Mai a few hours over that way. I can nip, nip over to Sukhothai, Pisnolo. So, you know, you're not just stuck here with a cow. You can do that if you want. I'm not sure if it's legal. But anyway, yeah, uh, you know, you, I potter around in the garden. I love it. And uh, have my beer, as I say, go swimming. I uh, got walks, you know. And uh, I, I, I think I had one person that was like, oh, I'd love to live in that kind of setting. So yeah, I love it. And uh, Annie loves coming back here whenever she, in the holidays, she always comes back here and enjoys it and says how much she misses it. So there you go. Now the old chestnut, uh, can't own land. Yeah, but I need to just address a few things. Number one, these videos aren't just for Falangs or, or Westerners. Um, I think I've sold five, I haven't, but five houses have sold through my videos. I don't take any commission. I do this for a bit of a giggle. YouTube gives me a bit of money, not a lot, but uh, that, that's where I get my revenue. So yes, Ties watch these videos too. It's not all about Westerners. And uh, basically, in a nutshell, if you want to live here, if you fall in love with the place, there's ways of doing it. You can get usufructs, leaseholds, company ownership. Um, there's ways of doing it. And I've said before, Tony from Bad Badger, uh, retired in Thailand, I think his channel is. Um, super cool guy. Got his friend, to, to, a Thai friend, to, to buy the land. And uh, they brought a lovely house with a pool down in near James Bond Island. That's what they wanted. Their, their dream was to come here for their retirement. 50 grand. Okay, what's the alternative? Back in the UK, 
I mean, the UK is, is, is a disaster zone at the moment. I don't, I, I'd never want to live back in the UK. So there's ways of doing it. There is common sense involved as well. And if you look at the horror stories, the backstory is a little bit like, well, why the F did you do that? And uh, not in every case, but in most. You guys in the West go, I got you, but don't own it. But you don't own most of the stuff. Most of you are in debt after college, and then you have to get, uh, especially if you live in the big cities, you've got to get a mortgage. 25 years, probably 40 years extended now they have. Mortgages, because the house prices are so ridiculous. And you're at the mercy of the banks. If you haven't got a fixed rate, or it, it, it runs out, or whatever, yeah interest rates go up, you're stuffed. So you don't actually own it, they'll just go, yeah, we'll have that back, thanks. Then you've got the statistics on marriage, 50% ending divorce. So you, if you do divorce and you've got your property, you lose a lot, you lose half of your shit, which is worth a lot more than a 40, 50 grand house in Thailand. And that went through my mind 30, 20 years ago, and I just went, it's a no brainer. It was a risk, uh, of course it is, but so is getting married in, in, in the West and buying a property in the West. Uh, and a lot of the guys here, their wives come, well, they met them in, in their home countries and they have passports from their home, you know, UK passports, uh, US passports. So they have property in the West with their Thai wives anyway. So they come here, usually have land given to them by the Thai wives family. They build a 40, 50 grand house, really nice with a pool and spend time between the two. It's not all, they're not all scamming you or ripping you off. There are conventional, uh, relationships here between Westerners and Thais, unbelievably. There you go, bit of news for you. Because some people are just fucking stupid. Uh, they get involved with uh, buying stuff here. I'm sorry, but it's true. Um, but there's a guy who's a lot nicer than me who, who talks about this. He's just built a house. He's got a Thai wife, who I believe she's got a British passport. They met in the UK and um, so uh, they have property, I think, in the UK and Spain and then they have a, they've just built a really nice place here. He goes about on about this in, in, in a much more nicer way. But I, 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 when I first did it, I was nice about it, but now I'm a sort of, you know what I mean? Um, so there you go. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna say, um, there might be another property video. Uh, there's gonna be some other stuff, but they come in, in sort of threes and fours. Sometimes I don't see anything for a few months that interests me. I just saw one uh, on the way back that I might have a little look at. Uh, but I will be mixing it up. There will be some boxer short action sometimes, like today. I know there's a few of you with a penchant for, for me and my boxers. So I need to mix it up because some of you like the property stuff, some of you like the boxer shorts, and uh, yeah, just mincing around the house. So uh, I'll try, try and mix it up. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna say uh, stay safe, stay well, and see you in the next video.